to your mini bi-weekly general love tarot reading for March 1st through the 15th. Welcome! We got some shift energy going on. Woo! That solar eclipse really bouncing us around daily, isn't it? Okay, some good things, some ugh, heavy things. But either way, Virgo, um, I, I've got some response by email that uh, the last two weeks of February, I read about new love coming in and some of you have found new love, so congratulations. Now, what's happening here in uh, the first two weeks of March is uh, decisions, okay? I think that for some of you who are having uh, relationships, uh, and I see a water sign just jumping out of here <laughs> that you might be flirting with, or actually you caught flirting uh, and isn't totally being honest with you in regards to... Um, you know, wanting a committed relationship or wanting a relationship just with you. And I feel like you're at this point in the next two weeks where you're making decisions of, hey, I deserve love. So we're either going to make this happen or I'm going to go out shopping for someone else. Okay. Uh, I do feel like for some of you, you may, uh, the ones that you did meet are really charmers. Um, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a strong uh, energy of water uh, somewhere in, um, their uh, composite, okay? And I feel like that, you know, um, you know, some of the uh, ones that you met may have been married before and have children. Uh, they're quite playful, but yet they're quite flirtatious. Uh, I'm getting some signs here for some of you who may have recently uh, chosen to go out with a few um, are basically charmers. And uh, spirits throwing out a red flag on that, okay? Uh, the reason is it's not that we can't be charming, but <laughs> this person is actually extraordinarily charming. So, uh, you know, with that, it's kind of like there's a lot of fake energy behind that charm, okay? I'm just going to be totally honest with you. That's what spirit's telling me. So, um, so there actually may be a thought of separating from this person or if this person's really authentic, for you. Okay. Now I do feel, however, for some of you, you do have like maybe a weekend getaway or a trip coming up. And I feel like this could be with a loved one. Uh, and also, uh, I feel like still there's something here that isn't totally truthful. So I would just be careful. Uh, just keep your, all your senses, uh, wide open, listen, feel, you know, just Try to keep out of the past, though. Some of you are jumping into the past. Uh, you're also, some of you, I, I feel like, are saying, oh, you know what, I'm not finding my soulmate. Uh, listen, I'm not making fun of you or not, but the more you keep whining to the universe, honestly, you're not going to find anything. Uh, except probably stuff that you haven't gotten rid of from the past that you're going to just unconsciously attract in. All right. Uh, deception. When I get the deception card, doesn't mean that somebody's always lying to you either. Could be mean you're deceiving yourself on someone that you may like and you're not seeing their true colors. Okay. Uh, some of you are actually uh, moving in and out of relationships these next two weeks. Perhaps some of you are at a standstill with somebody. Uh, I'm getting a lot of water. I'm getting a lot of fire. Uh, there is a, a bit of air element that I'm feeling here. Also to somebody that, um, you know, I'm feeling for some of you that maybe you've come across that could have happened recently or going to happen these next two weeks of someone that you truly love deeply, who you thought you were going to get back together with, actually decided to turn around and uh, go with someone else. And with going with that someone else, I feel like they've had a relationship with them before. And I really feel like this person is totally, totally mixed up. Uh, they would do well with getting some therapy or some kind of healing assistance because they're not doing a good job of it of, on their own. I'm not talking about you, Virgo, necessarily. I'm talking about uh, somebody from the past. And um, I mean, it is a sign for you to move on. It is definitely a sign for you to move on and just kind of leave that person in their own misery because that's kind of where I feel they are, miserable. Um, so... Yeah. So, but there are some transitions going on here. Some things that you're going to be looking at that, oh, wait a minute. Uh, maybe I chose someone that has some similarity to the past. 
Uh, these are part of your, this is part of your shift. It's a part of you waking up and being really firm about what it is that you really want in your life. What language are you speaking to your own soul, to your own spirit, what, and the language to the universe. Okay. Um, yeah, we all pick a few bad apples and we pick good apples too, but you know, it's just what I'm getting here is, uh, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I am in a energy reader. I am an angel reader. I am a psychic. I am a medium. I hear what spirit has to say. Are these readings going to totally resonate with all of you? No, because there's millions of Virgos in the world. And, uh, but, but there may be a message somewhere in the reading for you. Okay. Because we are a conscious group. Uh, and, uh, so I do feel like there's some transitions of looking at, uh, your past, what didn't work for you, what worked for you, what can you make continue to work for you, um, uh, moving forward. What do you need to get rid of? Uh, I feel like some of you need to move. I feel like some of you are, are totally around toxic people and you need to just shift, but some of you are stuck you, or, or actually I don't even know if you're really stuck. Uh, I think you're allowing that toxic energy to make you feel like you're stuck, but I feel like you're just kind of fearful to make the change. You're not sure exactly how you're going to land on your feet. Um, grounding exercises, guys, grounding. The more grounding exercises you do, the more you're going to feel secure making those changes out there. Okay, you do have some major decisions coming up. It's your first card. Um, so, uh, and ending with unrequited love, which means you need to look at love a little bit stronger here, exactly what it is that you really want in a relationship. You know, sometimes that bad boy or bad girl <laughs> can look so enticing, honestly, but then, you know, look at how much hair you lose in the process. Get what I'm saying? Okay. Let me pull some cards here for you. Uh, I actually want to pull a color card. And so you got, you, you got Indigo. So Indigo means improve your vision. See things clearly, Virgo. See things clearly. We all have vision, okay? All you need to do is fine tune your, your uh, physical eyes and fine tune your third eye. And um, get those two in balance, okay? Not everything you're seeing in the next two weeks is really, really authentic or truthful. I just have to be honest with you, okay? doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means you need to fine-tune your vision. You need to step up to the plate, accept things how they were, let go of the past, and really be the change you want to change in others or see the change in others, I should say, because we can't change others and uh, see the change in your immediate world, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and pull some... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I want a nature card here. Thank you, Spirit empowerment excellent card there you need there you go virgo that's that's your final result empowerment what is it that you want to take back your power from and uh stand in your power and be that empowerment in your life okay this the empowerment is well, well it's very powerful <laughs> okay that means that you finally reached a plateau where you're finally seeing things as they should, which with the indigo color, improve your vision uh, and, and actually empowering on exactly what it is you want to change within you and what you want to see in your world. Okay, now let me just go ahead and pull some angel cards. Leap of faith. The sun. Oh, we got some babies or maybe some friends of yours had children and Maybe you're going to be a godmother or a godfather uh, or something related to children. Besides, I see babies being born in March and babies that have already been born that are significant in this world. Leap of faith. Archangel Metatron. Believe in yourself, my friends. Listen to your heart. Okay. Now, here, here's the thing about the heart. We listen to heart. Well, my mind says this guy, this person is a bad person. Okay. But my heart says this person is just wonderful and it's definitely for me. Okay. Now, is your heart uh, clouded with your mind or is your heart saying, you know something? I'm listening to my heart, but my heart's been aching because I haven't had love most of my life. Okay. So what happens? We choose someone who's a charmer and then 
uh, uh, we're miserable later. So basically, we want charm in our life, but we don't want the overacting of charm, okay? Because that tends to have narcissistic uh, tendencies. We do want a happy person. There's a total difference in what I'm saying. I hope you get me. Um, so listen to your heart and do uh, what gives you joy, okay? Because I feel for some of you, you're creating a new foundation of happiness, love, joy, serenity, peace. Manifesting, you're manifesting. The sun, uh, well, I love the sun, okay? Because without the sun, what are we? And um, the sun brings uh, happiness. It brings contentment with the things that we do. If, if we are not content, the sun is helping us make that shift to something that will uh, give us content, uh, contentment. And also um, pushing, pushing, pushing. Making sure that every negative thought you catch, you start reprogramming. You start reprogramming with positive affirmations, positive thinking. So don't say an affirmation that's just way out there and you're like, well, no, I actually don't believe in that. Say an affirmation that you vibe with, okay? There's tons of them on the internet. You can find tons of them. You can pick up books of, of uh, positive affirmations and then when you have the book in front of you, just open it. And that's the page the universe, the divine, directed you to. And read those positive thoughts there. Okay? And I do feel like success. There's something here I feel like some of you either learned or you're going to learn. You're going to step into that ground to where suddenly you're like, oh, yes, I'm vibing. This is where I need to be. Uh, success. Uh, some of you might be busier than normal. Some of you might not be busy enough and you're looking to be busy. The sun can guide you definitely um, uh, to do that. So the three of Raphael is party, party time, okay? Party time in the sense of you've got something to celebrate. Now you might be celebrating somebody's birthday um, or you might be celebrating um, your own birthday if you tend to be uh, Pisces and Virgo is your moon arising. Uh, you could be celebrating a uh, graduation in your own relationships. Uh, you could be celebrating many, many things, a job promotion, starting a new business, like an inauguration. I just, I sense that in these next two weeks, you're going to be celebrating for something really good. And I feel like you've got a happy announcement to make to, to others. I really feel like you do, whether you become engaged, uh, a proposal, marriage, up, oh, hey, I'm pregnant, uh, the baby has come, I got a new job, I'm starting a new business, oh, wow, I just landed the sales job, uh, or I just landed the sales and I, whew, my commission is hefty, money's coming in, okay, good things like that. All right, Virgo, love you guys so much. If you'd like a personal reading, www.transformationandempowerment.com. Please remember to check your moon and rising. Much love and blessings.